Uh, Lando, it looked much better out there on paper. How did it feel in the car? Uh, pretty, pretty much that. It felt definitely a, a little step ahead of where we were in Spa. Um, just a higher downforce track, bringing, um, bringing our car back alive a little bit. So it's, um, yeah, it's a good thing. It's still close. It's not like we're miles ahead of where we were, um, but more back in line with where we were in, in, in Budapest. So um, some good news, giving us a little bit more confidence coming into this weekend. So um, yeah, I'm happy. I think we're both we're, we're pretty reasonable in both low fuel and high fuel. Um, so if we can continue that into tomorrow, then um, I'll be a bit more confident. Did you get a feel of the tyres as well and how they responded as, as the team were expecting? Uh, yeah, pretty reasonable. Um, I mean, we, yeah, like I said, we ran all the tyres. We ran hard, medium and soft. Um, uh, soft is definitely a re you know, pretty reasonable jump going into, into low fuel. Uh, provides a lot more grip, especially with it being quite windy. Uh, it just allows that car to hang on a little bit more. So. Definitely the nicest tyre for qualifying, uh, for the race maybe not so much, but um, no, I think we've, we've gathered all the data we want and, and both for myself with, with my driving and uh, tyre degradation and so on. So uh, yeah, I think we're, we're looking reasonable, we just need to piece it all together. Did you get a chance to get a feel of if the DRS out of the final corner will be more useful to have and make a difference? I mean of course it's going to be more useful, uh, the earlier you can have it the, the better. So. Uh, I would have said so. It's, I think it's more now about how, how easily we can follow through the chicane and, and through the, the final corner, uh, or the two final corners. Um, but of course, if we can open it earlier like we did today, I was a bit scared to begin with, um, to open it too early, but uh, I think as the grip came up and, and so on, um, you gain more and more confidence to be able to do so. So It definitely has, uh, but I've not been able to race too much today. I had a couple of little battles, so um, maybe a little bit better, but not a lot. And just finally, just before the session started, we heard news that Oscar's going to be joining you next year. Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, I look forward to it. You know, another another new year, um, someone new to work with. You know, it's always different for every driver to work with someone different. Um, and of course, it'll be a new challenge for, for everyone, including himself. So, uh, yeah, of course, welcome to, to the team, Oscar. Um, but, you know, we still have a long season ahead. Like, yeah. this, is, this is 2023, so... Um, that's good news, good news for the team, uh, but we have a lot of work to do this year if we want to give ourselves a good car next year, so the focus is on this for now. Valtteri, can you talk us through how you found today, both sessions? Tricky, we got some running, which is good, but uh, today was um, quite tricky to extract the pace. Um, also, feels like the balance is a bit inconsistent, could be something to do with the wind, but uh, something to figure out tonight because it didn't really feel like, like it should. And in terms of the conditions, as you mentioned, the wind, Joe was just saying about the track conditions with the wind blowing in the sand and everything from the track as well. How much is that affecting you out there and the heat? It is tricky, like once you go a little bit off the line, it's uh, the sand. It reminds me a little bit of Bahrain track. <laughs> like yeah. it's, uh, it's tricky as plus the wind, but uh, the same for everyone. Uh, no matter what, I think we're lacking a little bit of pace based on today. So, um, like I said, need to figure out something. Overtaking is quite difficult here, short circuit as well. Are you changing your approach to focus more on qualifying because of that? Overtaking is still difficult. It's better than last year with the new generation of cars. But um, yeah, I think everyone is going to bias everything a bit more towards qualifying. And uh, yeah, we, we need to find some pace if we want to get to qualifying spot. Fernando, two free practice sessions in the top 10. How was your Friday? It was good, it was good, especially after the SPAC. I mean, uh, to Zambo, it's a completely different rhythm into the circuit. It's like a roller coaster with all the banking corners. So it was fun Friday. Uh, a lot of fans already today, so I expect a, a magic weekend. It's a big party, isn't it? Already, and it's only Friday. Talk to me about the DRS and the banking as well. What kind of sensation is that in the car? It was good. It was not as difficult as we thought, probably. So uh, let's see what we decide today on the driver's briefing. But I, I think it's going to stay for the for the weekend. And I'm sure you've had a look at some of the data from both long run, short run as well. Quali very important here. How is that one lap pace looking? It look, it's looking good. I think uh, we still need to improve the, the long run pace. Uh, degradation is still one of our weaknesses. So a uh, couple of ideas for tomorrow. But uh, as you said, quali is probably the priority this weekend. So let's hope we can put a, a good lap tomorrow. And we knew this track would favour some over others. McLaren and Mercedes both looking pretty quick out there as well. Certainly McLaren in that battle for P4 are well up there. Yeah, they, they look very strong. So we need to find more pace tomorrow. Uh, normally we do a, a step better from Friday to Saturday, so we are working to do the same step tomorrow. And Fernando, big news broke just before you got in the car for FP2. There is an empty seat to fill at Alpine next year. Who do you think is the best fit to replace you? 
I don't know. I think it's a, it's a tough decision to take, and uh, uh, you know, I wish you know the team takes uh, the best possible decision, and I will always wish the best for Alpine. But uh, let's let's see what they decide. And finally, what's possible tomorrow? I think Q3 does the target. Uh, we've been always top seven, top eight. I don't think it's going to be too different tomorrow. Uh, Checo looked really difficult out there today in terms of performance of the car. What was it like? Yeah, I got a lot of traffic. Well, I got uh, one of the Ferraris on my fast lap and um, I couldn't get a proper read on my soft tyre, unfortunately. Uh, it was going to be a massive shunt there. And um, yeah, and then the long run, the gradation seems to be pretty high. So yeah, it will be interesting to see what we are able to do with the strategy. And uh, But yeah, we certainly need to improve. Uh, for qualifying tomorrow. This morning the track looked very green. I think we ha you had a few moments to lock up. I think you ran wide as well. Was it just quite tricky to get hold of the car? Yeah, I think generally we haven't been as happy as we were in Belgium. So there are some some things we need to look at and try to to pick up everything right or to be in the in the mix for for quali. I know it's a very different circuit to Belgium, but were you surprised by the gaps of the, the Ferraris up front and to, the pace of Mercedes? Yeah, they really look strong today. So yeah, it will be interesting to see what we are able to do.